you know what? I talked to Brian, and I said, Brian, what's up? I said, what's up, buddy? You all right, mate? He said, I want to be in the next episode. So I said, dude, just say, but not on camera. It's a bit unprofessional. So, Brian's going to be in this episode. Let's see what we can do. Brian's got a little bit of stress. That's okay. All you lot suck, so get out. Brian's a cat. I'm lonely. <sighs> Brian. <clears throat> what do you want to do? We can't take Ellie anywhere right now, so that's okay. Brian has got some terrible diseases, so we should definitely try and take Erasmus or Martinez. Oh, pardon me, excuse me. Oh, um, maybe we should take Bagel as the healer. Where can you heal from? The back two slots. This kind of works. Let's take Snowland as a unit and Bagel as a unit. Um, Erasmus is a unit. No, that could work, but no. Like this. We'll go to... A medium mission, because it has one stop. Uh, excuse me? Oh, that's level three. Mistake! Bragel, mm, Erasmus, and Brian. No, Snow. Good. Uh, that one's a long one. I want that. Uh, Cove, maybe... Nah, I don't really want to do an activate mission. So let's do a battles mission. Does that seem like a good idea? Not really. Um, however, here we are. Obviously, we're going to give um, Erasmus the trinket that allows Erasmus to go first. Otherwise, Bagel will be entirely useless. It's been a while since we had a run where we used the occultist as a healer, which I'm not looking forward to at all. <coughs> I think we should probably take this for the heals received. And we are going to be in position one reasonably often. But I'm thinking maybe if we want more resistances. Where are we going? Wield. So there are some things to resist in the wield. So maybe it's, uh, no. maybe it's worth taking the resistances. I mean, we don't need two of these. When am I ever going to have two lepers? What's the matter with me? Yes. Now we can afford to provision. Provision. Um, I'm kind of a little bit reluctant to keep taking out these level fives because they're not well leveled up. What about level fours and threes on their um, equipment? And that's not to speak of their actual skills. We just don't use this. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to use that more often, I think. Uh, but we'll keep going because we don't know what's good for us. We may run away again. But it's only a medium mission and we do have one camp. Well, I mean, they, those two are completely related to one another and it's not like either of those could be different with the other one being the same, but you understand what I'm saying. Uh, being as you're the healer, we're going to be taking the cleansing crystal. And the high stress. Nothing that gives us a huge amount of stress. So I think we can take the high stress 30 skills one. Although 20% stress damage is a lot. Um, and I'm a bit worried about that. But not too worried. We'll see what happens. Do, 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 do. You get that one and... <clears throat> Why? <laughs> Why is that unique to the leper when that's for everybody? Uh, position 4, no. Prot, dodge, stress. Not that valuable. Maybe just a crit ring or something like that. More max HP, not useful. Uh, we have got some... Got a new one here, look. More blight skill chance. I don't think we ever use that. More speed, more stun. Yeah, we'll take the stun. I do use it sometimes. I don't really use the ranged skills that often either, although they are pretty good. But I prefer to play these as dancey around type stabby units, which always works. What are you talking about? More dodge, less damage, not great. We know that the stun is not useful in this position. We're not going to make that mistake again. More speed could be good. We've got 
two of those things, so we do have two handmasters. It's not inconceivable we have one at the back and one at the front. I wonder how that works. Could be good. Uh, those all suck. <laughs> Basically, I hate them. Uh, you're going to get a sniper's ring. Not that one. I mean, we could always take a damage versus something. We are going to the wield. Maybe Eldritch. Yeah, have that. Uh, and the accuracy ring of accuracy. Where are you at? Sorry, what? That one. I didn't realise it was a, a rare trinket. Shows what I know. Good. We are done with those. Is that bad? Yes. Okay. I mean, 57% is still slightly better than evens that we survive death blows, but still. We're going to the wield. I think we can rely on these again. Oh, we've got several already. We'll take two more shovels. We'll take a bunch of torches. And we'll take a couple of these. Maybe just one. And a couple of bandages. This is going to be a mission when I want to bring stuff back. So I'm not looking to over provision on pack filling stuff and I will take these extra things do I want more things I've got those I've got those I never use these but I probably should sure yes in for a penny there's no boss thing to watch this time still got my beer I'm recording this straight after the last episode there's not very many opportunities to have a swig Corruption has soaked the soil. Fuck's sake, look at this shit. From these groves. Let us well, we definitely have to go this evil. way, so hopefully we will get the scouting in that direction as a result. This doesn't fill me with confidence. What else is scary? Alright. Well, there's no secret room so far. Guess that's the correct order. I was a bit worried. Bagel in that position. It's fine, Erasmus goes for it. You get to lunge. 43 dodge, 73% to hit, 78, 90. We could just kill one? Seems very likely. Seems like a good idea. Oh, what is wrong with you? Curse of vulnerability. You have got less dodge, less accuracy. That seems okay. Disease me up. I don't give a shit. Bring it fucking on. Uh, it's only two damage. Which is not enough to kill it, which pisses me off. Stress heal is okay. Let's just rush it down and kill it. It hasn't had a go yet. Which effectively means we did kill it when we wanted to. Um, I want to... Yeah, that. No resisty. You dick. We do have a mark, though. Don't need purge right now, but we could find ourselves in dire need of it in the future. So now, of course... Erasmus gets wasted. Not in the beer way. This is okay, but it could be better. You did damage versus... Yes. Die. What? Why haven't we one-shot anything yet? This is very upsetting. I mean, I guess it's fine. I was, I was in two minds. Uh, I am very lucky. I have actually forgotten what that those dogs don't leave corpses. Because I was halfway through going, wait a minute, this bag, because there will be a corpse in the way. We're okay. Um, we could be better. We'll keep going, and we'll hope that Bagel does better in the future. Don't you fucking dare! I brought things for this purpose, and you are just doing what you want, you son of a bitch, Brian. You only get three diseases max. That's interesting. I mean, that's okay, but I wanted the food. What was that? Actually, uh, shut up. Nope. Nope. Citiomania. So, that is a very obvious quirk. Bad, qu negative quirk. That is an obvious... This, what am I trying to say? Usually negative quirks, you look at them and you go, hmm, when does that cause an issue. What's that going to be a problem for? Oh, come on. <laughs> you bastard. Um, you know, you go, well, maybe that refers to those things in the wheel or those things in the ruins, etc. That was really obvious. 
You don't want to take someone with Citadomania. Is it bandages? No. Shit. <laughs> bandage or anti-venom, right? One of the trees is bandage. If only treasure could staunch the flow. There's some food in here. You can have some food. Uh, you don't take them to anything where there's very likely to be food that you want. Uh, very likely to be food full stop. Normally you count on there being food. You prepare for it. You're going to have to kill this, I'm afraid. If you could crit, that'd be great. It is. Not quiet. Bleed? Bah, humbug. You're going to have to do this, unfortunately. Where's your rolls at? Bagel. What do I hire you for? So I guess we um try and knock back one of these. Chef fucking what? I was hoping to get this one in range of everybody so that we could definitely kill it next turn. I mean, it's not that big a deal, but now everything's still alive. On the plus side, all of us are still alive, so it's not... You know, it's not that terrible. This is bad. I don't like this. You're the one who's supposed to be stressed out because you've got the... Ouch. You've got the trinket that does it. It's only 10. Right, how'd you get 26 from 10? I... Never mind. Please. Continually onslaught. Destroy Please. Right. No, no bleed. Good. That was a complete heal, so it's like you... Everything that you did before is entirely forgiven. Uh, what does damage does this do? One to three. It also does 26 less damage to seven less accuracy. With Q, which applies. It just does damage to both. Oh. No. No. Uh, I should probably try these more to, uh, to see if they're like, more often useful. Ouch. But honestly, they haven't been. <laughs> Basically. This has sucked so far. Uh, can you just deal with that, please? Can you deal with it more? No? Okay. Fuck me. This thing has to go. Problem with this Brian character is he can't fucking hit anything. Please drink this anti venom and stun one of these. Excellent. We did take the stun skill bonus, so. Oh, bleed. 65, 65, 55. So I need two points around, though. Honestly, I'd rather just kill this. But it's taking so little damage. Ha! The 20 was fine, I'll be honest. <laughs> I don't need any more than that. I just need that one unit to stop taking all the fucking damage all the fucking time. Right, let's do this. How are you missing so much? This is our- I fucking hate this character! Seriously, I'm getting salty because of this bullshit character. They can't hit fucking everything. All of its attacks have such a shit chance to hit. And these things have a massive amount of dodge, so you have basically no chance to hit anything. Everyone else can hit? What's the matter with you? Jackass. Brian's not even here for me to blame, that's the problem. Here. Deal with that. You might have to do a Shadow Fade. In future, I think I'm going to Shadow Fade Erasmus immediately and use that. Less prop. Mark and less prop. Probably worth it. Please debuff. So now you can do this. Still shit. <laughs> Dodge? Yeah. I mean, at least attacking Erasmus has a good chance of missing. It'd be nice if your dodge also mitigated some of the damage, like glancing blow sort of thing. Can you not be on death's door or fuck already? It's bullshit. Probably should have just gone for that one. Just buffers though. Uh... You can stress heal yourself, can you not? Yes. So I never use. I didn't like this. This is only level one, which is why it's shit. Okay, let's turn that off and put the other one back on. I mean, this is just cat and mouse right now. It's taking the piss. Dodge. Okay. 
No blight, that's fine. Does Hugh actually help? Hugh, what are you doing here? Uh, let's prop. Not really. I mean, these are all bad damage. <laughs> it's just terrible. Ugh, this is taking so fucking long. That just fell apart for no reason. That's how long this is taking. Right. Uh, you can't actually do any fucking damage here. Let's have a look at this. This is marked. Right, so I can throw a dagger at this, and if I mark it, that helps. Didn't do any damage. Did debuff it. I think this is worth continuing to do until we have this unit's stress back in check by his own hand, basically. So now we can throw a dagger at this, have a good chance of doing uh, the dodge debuff, but it's not a prop debuff, unfortunately. Can you please just end? We removed a lot of that thing's protection and we still only did 11 damage, which just doesn't make any sense. Why is the damage from that not considerably decreased as a result of having to do the, the prop? But I have to battle with the prop now. Just fucking kill this. Right. I mean, it puts us on death's door. This could kill Erasmus because Erasmus might go before Bagel. Do you have a heal? No. Why would you have a heal? It's perfectly fine for Erasmus to die. Good. Anything but a zero! Anything but a zero! <laughs> you fucking dick. This is a really bad fight. And you're dead. And you're dead. Oh my god! He's not dead. Where's my anti-venom? <laughs> anti-venom. Bagel, please. Heal it. At all. Not zero. Oh my fuck. You just have to not be shit. Is it that hard? I'm struggling to think. Earlier on in the game, the taking an occultist was great because Remind yourself the, op the opportunity slow and insidious killer. Um, for it to give us a, a huge benefit from healing was massive. Yeah. Didn't want that. Oh, yes. That's what we like to see. Good on you, Brian. Like, early on, I was very impressed by having Bagel or Pete do the healing as, uh, as occultists. And then, oh, right. We're gonna do... Because this is shit. Basically, because it's level one, I'm pretty sure. Which is why we keep missing. Um, but recently, I think the problem is there's such a wide range, especially with this trinket. From zero to like 40 something. Which is a lot. You're in the wrong place. Whatever. Um, because of that huge range, suddenly it's leveled away from us. It's become a liability. Because how many times have we rolled zero today? That's two. In a fucking row. Not like two in a oh ha 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 aren't you cute sort of way. Two in a fucking row when it's extremely important that we don't. So I'm starting to wonder whether occultists sort of level themselves out of the healer role and into the sort of backup role. Wealth beyond measure. Because it's either massive under roll or massive over roll every single time we try and do a heal. Or am I just getting terrible luck and this is like on average it's still normal? I honestly don't know. Because we're trying to kill the dog. Bring it as close to death as possible, anyway. They are unfortunately not surprised this time, so we do have to be tr somewhat careful of our own. Um... Oh, 
what this means, by the way. Somewhat careful of our own ordering. We have to make sure we do things right. Yeah, everything will bleed. But all resistant. Resist is fine, it's just... Nothing is non-bleedable, right? This is fucking me off. If you could roll anything but fucking zero... Stop critting! <laughs> Crit when you roll a three, so it's a nine. Right? Crit when you roll a zero, so it's a fucking three. That's what that does. Nice. Three rounds as well. Dodged it. It's not what I want you to do, mate. You know, it's... The fact that it's always, like, 40 or 0, it's just bullshit. I want it to be a consistent amount of... Or at least some healing, right? Anything that is not just none. Get rid of that. I'm sick of it. No, you don't get a go. Fine. Thank you. A moderate amount of healing is perfectly okay. I, I don't need the crits. That's the thing. I want. I want to right click on you. There we go. But all we're doing is plus thirty percent. We're not buffing the crit on those heals with our trinkets. We're buffing the value of the heals, which means if we roll a one, or if we roll a three, we should get a four, right? I assume. You know, I, I've never actually looked into it, but I assume that plus 30% is plus 30% damage or, you know, negative damage on the heals. You are so fucking shit. It's unbelievable. Now you crit for 14 because I've been whinging about it. I cannot believe how bad this fucking unit is. Accuracy 90. 70% chance to hit and you miss it every single time. It's like fucking watching Quill 18 play an XCOM 2. A 70% chance to hit is a miss every time. It has always been this way. Should we stack up this bleed? I don't know if it's a good idea. I mean, you've got the Eldritch Slayer's Ring, right? So you should be able to attack the shit out of this. It's only four damage. How much damage is this? One. Mm. Maybe we do this. Well, you can do that, then. But you might need to heal something. Lose the prop? Yeah. So you're stunned anyway, which is why I thought that was an okay idea this time. Because with it being stunned, it's not going to get a go, which means I get a free turn on that unit. Crit against that. Is um, everything's got protection. Stop being protected. What are you made of? More blight on you. That's bad. We only brought one anti venom, which was a bit short sighted, apparently. No, you're going to keep doing this. 24. Fine. Or do you take a low level occultist with a massive heal trinket? Like, to high level r missions. No, because then it wouldn't have any HP, would it? But you see what I mean? This occultist can do a shitload of HP, so you need a unit that can absorb a shitload of heal. Grievous injury. But How the fact is, it fear. doesn't increase the minimum heal roll, which is exactly what we need it to do. So now we hands rush this. 15 damage, which is actually a lot. Plus, dead in two rounds guaranteed. But so are you. <laughs> and now the true That's a problem. Hold fast. You do need a healer, but you don't get one. Heal it. Heal it. Heal. Heal Erasmus. Heal Erasmus. Nope. Accuracy and crit. Well, you could give yourself accuracy and crit, since you seem to be shit at both. Well, okay. <laughs> That's both accurate and a crit. No, you need HP. No. Don't kill Exposed to a killing blow. How do I flip this table right now? <laughs> this has turned out to be such a shit run. And it's entirely... It's fucking entirely because I brought Bagel as a healer. Absolutely fucking entirely. This is... I'm pissed off. I really am. You think you know... I honestly thought that we had a really good chance to take Bagel as a healer with the massive amount of healing that it, that, that unit can output. We'll take Bagel as a healer, and every single time we get close to Death's Door, we'll get some healing. No, you roll twice a zero, and several times a three and a fucking two.
And then every single unit seemed to be able to do so much damage to us that we couldn't get another go on Bagel before it was too late, so we've lost Erasmus. Which is fine, because Erasmus was highly diseased, but now everyone else has come back with diseases that Erasmus was supposed to kill. Tonight, I mean, couldn't we have picked up the snuff box and used it ourselves? Something ain't right with them shadows moving and twisting as they do. Residents are advised to stay indoors until daybreak. All stress release activities are less effective. Well, no one's going to do any because we haven't got any fucking money because Erasmus can't hit for shit. And he's now dead as a result. So, to hell with you, Erasmus. You are now dead. And you will remain dead until such a time as we get a decent unit back out of here. <sighs> now, I've been talking to people about the, um... The Jester. I'm thinking, why don't we use the Jester with this really awesome stress heal thing? To do things like the ruins, where we always get completely ruined by stress. It basically puts them in the healer role, except as a stress healer instead of uh, an HP healer, which makes a lot of sense. So if we get, I don't think, I think we've done all three profits now, so I don't think there's another one of those. But stress is going to come up a lot in later missions, like the Darkest Dungeon, for example. Well, we apparently get stressed out immediately before we've even set foot in the doorway, so I'll have to practice with that a little bit in future, see if we can try and manage our stress better using the Jester. And of course, the Jester can do a bit of dancing around to get them to the back. You know, you do a solo to get to the front, a finale to get to the back, whereupon you can inspire and tune everybody into your, you know, the most famous solo artist that ever recorded in this town. Which is one. Well, sorry Erasmus. I don't know what we're going to do. We'll just keep adventuring until we find somebody and hopefully we'll make some progress. But it was not today and it was not last episode either. Maybe it'll be in the next one. So I hope you will join me and I will see you then. Hmm.